Hi, welcome to my channel, Yanam Takshasila. In this new video, I am going to solve a mathematical problem under the topic trigonometry. So the problem is, if A and B are acute angles and sin A equal to 1 by root 10, sin B equal to 1 by root 5, prove that A plus B equal to pi by 4. So what they have given in the problem, they have given two angles A and B and then they have given sin A equal to 1 by root 10 and sin B equal to 1 by root 5. So you need to prove that a plus b equal to pi by 4. So to prove this a plus b equal to pi by 4, we need to use the formula of trigonometric formula of sine of a plus b. So before that, we need to find the values of sine b and as well as cos b. So first, we write that formula of sine of a plus b. We know that sine of a plus b equal to. So what is sine of a plus b? That is sine a cos b plus cos a sin b. Now from the given problem they have given sin a value and sin b value. So you need to find cos b value and cos a value. So to find, first we will find cos a. Now what is cos a? Cos a can be written as that is square root of 1 minus sin square a because we know that sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1. So you can this is equal to 1 minus. Now what is sin a? It is given sin a is 1 by root 10. So 1 by root 10 whole square. So this is equal to now square root of 1 minus. Now apply the square to numerator and denominator. It will be 1 square is 1. Now root 10 square is 10. Now next step take LCM. That is 10 1 jar is 10 minus 1 by 10. So what is this? Root 10 minus 1 is 9. So 9 by 10. Now apply the root to both numerator and denominator. So square root of 9 is 3 because 3 square is 9. So 3 by root 10. So the, what is this? This is cos a. So we got cos a value. Now next thing you need to find. What do you need to find? You need to find because sin b is given. So we need to find cos b. So to find cos b. So similarly, so cos b can be written as is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square b. So this is equal to square root of 1 minus. Now what is sin b value? That is 1 by root 5. So 1 by root 5 whole square. So this is equal to root 1 minus. Now apply the square to numerator that is 1 as well as to denominator root 5. So 1 square is 1. Now root 5 square is 5. So next take LCM. So 5 minus 1 by 5. So this is equal to what is 5 minus 1 that is 4 by 5. Now apply square root to both numerator and denominator. Now square root of 4 is 2 because 2 square is 4. So 2 by root 5. So what is this? This is cos b. So cos b equal to 2 by root 5. So we got cos a as well as cos b. Next thing, so apply these values in this formula. That is sine of, again we are writing that formula here. Sine of a plus b equal to sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So this is equal to, now what is sine a? So sin a value is given the problem that is 1 by root 10. Now what is cos b? Just now found out cos b is 2 by root 5 plus now cos a. What is cos a value? That is 3 by root 10. Now sin b value is given the problem that is 1 by root 5. So this is equal to, next step simplify this, 1 to jar is 2 by root 10 into root 5 that is root 50. Plus, now 3 1 jar is 3 by root 10 into 5 root 50. Now since denominators are same, just I take LCM. So common one is root 50. Now add the numerators that is 2 plus 3. Now what is 2 plus 3? That is 5. So 5 by root 50. Now you can write this root 50 as 5 by root 50 as root 25 into 2. Now what is square root of 25? That is 5 square. So you can write this as 
5 by 5 root 2. Now 5 5 cancel, so we'll get sine of a plus b equal to 1 by root 2. Now take this sine to right hand side, it will become sine inverse. So 1, 1 by root 2 when it will come, it is sine 45. So a plus b equal to, that is sine inverse of 1 by root 2 is 45 degrees. Now what is 45 in terms of pi? Because here pi is 180 degrees. So 180 divided by 4, that is 45. So that is pi by 4. So a plus b equal to pi by 4. So this is what we have to show. See here, we need to prove that a plus b equal to pi by 4. So we have proved this result. Now if you want to solve more problems of this kind, I have given you a link in the description. Please click on that link. And this video is mostly useful for polytechnic and engineering students. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel Yanam Takshasila for further updates. Thank you for watching my video.